Hello, welcome to Dear Dharma's Day. My name is Dear, and I want to welcome you with warm hug, love, and light. Yes, I am doing a reading about May love and life in general for the month of May. I also want to tell you as well that during this quarantine time, I am also doing a discount up to 50% discount for my reading as well. This to help you to answer some of your stress that you might have during the quarantine about job, about love in general because I want to help during quarantine season especially for the people who are very stressed. I want to like give back in the term of um, doing this counting for you guys because during quarantine is gonna be a long period of time where you have loads of time on your hand and some of you might be feeling stressed or depressed so you can use my reading services to help you to answer some of your future it's gonna happen to you um I do this special discount especially for during this quarantine period so do check that out also, I am also giving away free reading giveaway every end of the month. So if you are interested of having a free reading for free, then you can check out on the description box as well. There's uh, instruction how you can enter the competition of free reading giveaway. Um, do check Instagram as well for another chance of winning free reading giveaway because I give one winner from Instagram and one winner from YouTube channel. I wish you good luck for the free reading giveaway and wish you and your family to be safe during this period of time as well. First, before we go into the reading, we are gonna do love yourself affirmation. This to open up your heart chakra. Please repeat after me. I release the need to judge myself and my body. Self-love comes to me with ease. My relationship with my body is one of perfect harmony. I trust my body's natural wisdom. I trust my gut. I feel at peace with my appearance. I feel completely comfortable with myself and accept myself with love, respect and appreciation. I choose to see this differently. Even though I don't feel worthy right now, I know deep down that I am worthy of love, forgiveness, and healing. I am open to receive. I see my struggles as opportunities to grow and to learn. Nothing stands in the way of my self-love. Thank you for doing that with me. It's very important for you to do love yourself affirmation. This to help to boost your morale and help your heart chakra to become lighter and more stress-free. Okay, if you practice loving yourself, then your heart will become lighter and you will have less depressed um, emotion within yourself and today i have four pile for me reading prediction for you um pause the video do at least three minutes meditation and then choose the power that calling your name the most is the one that you supposed to be um having a reading for okay so today i have four power power number one with this stone power number two with the white stone power number three with a little bit yellow stone 
and file number four with a small circular white stone okay i will see you on the other side bye okay for today may reading for you part number one let's see what's your reading of love and life in general gonna be for the month of may let's see you have moon you have heart guardians love and let yourself be loved you have attachment fourth chakra archangel raphael door to spirit and then you have unrequited love empathic judgment free listening and understanding engage in romance making time for a romantic dinner and flowers now let's see what you're reading for the cards the world Six of Wheel, Two of Sword, Death, The Hierophant, Okay, for your reading today, I feel like this month, um, especially your emotion, I feel like your emotion will be a little bit um, unstable a little bit in terms of you will feel the high and the low of emotions. I feel like um, especially the people who are thinking about love or the people who are single especially, I feel like you're gonna feel like you are um, feeling attached to someone or you feel like you have this inkling feeling of wanting to be with someone deeply i feel like um this attachment is very uh blocking your emotion it's making your emotion doesn't go through your chakra flow fluidly and i feel like it's is the blocking of the heart chakra so if you have time during um, quarantine if you have time please do meditation focusing on the heart chakra like focusing a uh, green light around your heart chakra to unblock that um, unflow within your um, emotion as well i feel like some of you might also think back to the past as well the past love or someone that you love in the past that making you feel an aching um in your heart and i feel like there's some kind of like a love um attachment that you might have with someone either the person that you are talking right now or the person who are in the past who you love really much okay and also like uh, in a couple people for people who are in a couple relationship i feel like you might feel like you miss them a lot like even if you are in quarantine with them you feel like you uh, feel some kind of like a distance between you guys or you kind of feel like you wanting to be with them all the time you want to like know what they do and know everything that they do um every move that they make okay and you i feel like probably like you might um even if you live together you might feel some misunderstanding with them in term of especially in the beginning of the month i feel like you might feel um you wanting to know more about them you went wanting to get more connected you will start in something um, fun game or something fun together that like 
help each other to connect with each other more i feel like even though they might give love to you a lot you still feel like this wanting to connect with them more and this create really build up emotion okay you will have a really this unrested emotion feeling about love and i also feel like at the end of that month for people who are single you guys will uh, get um in a romantic situation with someone or you will feel some kind of like a uh, love situation with someone that make you feel so uh, feeling this kind of romantic feeling and for those of you guys who are a couple relationship i feel like at the end of may it will because of the emotion in the beginning of the month um at the end of the month is starting uh, it's making you want to make an action make an effort to do something nice together as a couple you know even like uh, chat online more or play game or maybe like uh, uh some of you might also like on your birthday as well or some anniversary or something that gonna some kind of anniversary or something that gonna making you both as a couple relationship make an effort okay make an effort to do something nice do something romantic to each other and i feel like this is the month um i feel like this group of um, people who choose this group you, like the angels is telling me that you really need to focus on your heart chakra because i feel like there's an aching of an ha a heart that happening to it's gonna happen happen to you in may this aching of wanting to be loved is gonna increase so much in this may month um i feel the energy of you feeling almost sad and f almost feel like you lost love okay some of you there might be a loss in the family or some of like there's some negative thing that's gonna happen uh, around middle to the end almost the end of the month like probably week number three you're gonna feel this or like this lostness like this loss either loss of family or lost direction or you feel your heart is be lost like your heart is lost like you feel this deep depression that's gonna start happening to you or if not depression it's gonna be like feeling all sad all of a sudden feeling this gloomy energy like even though it's like starting to be spring you feel this cloud over your head okay so the best way to control your emotion this month is for you to really like cultivate this um heart opening chakra like um other than doing a heart chakra meditation i also feel like you should do something very charitable um even like give a dollar or one like 50 cent to to some organization will actually help you with your heart chakra a lot and help you with your karma as well i feel like your group is really needed that because this month um it's gonna be a very uh feeling very up and down in emotion and when it's down it's very go down really deep path and some of you might even have like a dark night of the soul as well so i that's why i want you to like work on your heart chakra a lot and especially on um, uh, the the emotion of giving like giving to someone like for example you can uh, if you stay in a family um, house or something you can give back to your parents like by cleaning the house or uh, fixing up something in the house house to help your family out or something like that or you do something nice to your brother or sister like trying to be in the giving mode or just like maybe if you can say a compliment to your mom cooking or something like or maybe say something nice to your fiance or for for your loved one that around the house that might also already help as well i feel like um it, there's you feel like the this month is gonna be a really long month for you um this is kind of like a rebirth of the month i feel like some of you will have this rebirth energy that will happen to you in this month like there's some either like rebirth about love or rebirth about life direction there's some kind of like conclusion about something in your life uh, that will restart your life 
all together like there's gonna be up an epiphany happening to you in this month and uh, you'll be able to let go a lot of past uh, love trauma or even past trauma in your childhood like because it came back like the reason you'll be able to be able to let go it more because I feel like those emotion came back and and if you work on your heart chakra especially heart chakra it will help so much and I promise you at the end of the month you'll be like this hierophant person like you'll be very balanced you'll be really fulfilled with your life in a way even though maybe you still lost maybe you still not sure what you want to do in life or not sure what's gonna happen in the future but because you work on your heart chakra this month you will at the end of the month feel like very balanced like you kind of like think that oh my god it's okay even if things are not going like i want it to go okay um you will feel more balanced but um so um if you feel very depressed or feel low or something ended happen or something negative or a death happen or like i i don't want to say like everybody will get a death in their family but like some of you m might get some kind of like a negative things that can affect you a lot or some past trauma coming back that you really need that high chakra meditation okay now let's look at your unicorn um card is exercise and the uh, healer and then you know in the morning yeah it's it's actually confirming what i'm reading for you is that like i feel like there's a lot of healing healing energy for you there's a lot of forgiveness see even the healer angel she also have the green like the green energy around her see like green energy so i feel like there's a something that needed to be healed in your energy um there's 80 percent of you is gonna be about love um especially loving yourself like if it's about love then i feel like the angel want you to love yourself more and by doing that is to go and exercise to go and run walk swim or do something that moving your body and like uh, treat your body good like when you exercise when you eat healthy when you talk positive thing talk about when you talk positive towards yourself you become healthier in your heart okay so like maybe like wake up when you wake up in the morning you say five things that you is you feel blessed in the morning or you can look in the mirror and give yourself a hug okay that will give you a lot of boost in your heart chakra energy even just say like um you wake up in the morning and say you are so beautiful you are so smart or you are so your eyes are so pretty like say something nice to your body at least in the morning so you can start the day in a positive note okay and a lot of you you guys have to exercise quite a bit because i feel like there's some of you that might gain some weight right now or you might want to like start exercising more now that you have free time for those of you who have free time you can start exercising or if you if you don't have free time i feel like exercise will be the best to boost your uh, high vibration energy and so you don't have to be like um this person who are like are in a depression mode okay because some of you i promise you you feel feel something this month that gonna uh affect you in a negative way for sure um but don't worry because um at the end you'll feel balanced if you work on your heart chakra and then when you wake up you feel you have a better idea what to do and relax until then so if you feel very depressed or very sad just go to bed okay just go to sleep have a nap sleep as long as you want like sleeping is so good for you especially in this uh virus time it's gonna help you with your immune system okay it will help you so much with your immune system if you sleep like i listen to the doctor every day like on youtube and like update about the virus and like the doctor said the best 
a cure for this virus or not the best cure but the best way if you don't have the money to buy medicine or like vitamins or stuff like that to help you with your immune immune system with like vitamins and stuff the best way you can do without costing any money is to sleep okay to sleep it's gonna help you so much like you will feel so much better when you wake up i love you guys so much i hope you like this reading and uh, i wish you healthy and happy in this um may month and don't forget to work on your heart chakra i love you if you're new to my channel please click like and subscribe i will help my channel so much bye okay part number two with a uh, big rock big white rock let's see what's your reading gonna be for may 2020 your prediction for 2020 shield maidens warrior journey the world and uh, a chakra of angel camel and then you have deep healing So made for a relationship Ace of Cup Five of Sword Two of Sword I mean three of sword seven of cup king of wheel so for people who are choosing this power i feel like this month is the month for you like i feel like this month you're gonna suddenly have that um spark of um strength within you i feel like there's a there's gonna be a spark of energy in terms of um spark of your dreams spark of your energy to pursue that dream i feel like some of you might start on a journey that you are hoping to be good for you i feel like there's gonna be a spark of this new energy or new new dreams that's gonna happen to you that making you want to fight making you have an energy to fight i feel like some of you will be very strong in terms of um th there's suddenly a boost of energy within you there's a boost of encouragement or some kind of like a positive energy that boosts coming inside you and i feel like that energy is involving your soulmate okay that energy is definitely involving your soulmate um even if you are single right now and haven't find someone or like in may you haven't find someone there will be a boost of the soulmate energy that coming inside you because i feel like they are calling for you as well and um, i feel like that dream that you got sparked in this month will lead you to them okay the the sparkle the sparkle of idea for this month will lead you to your soulmate or it probably be your soulmate in inspiring you to do something new I also feel like um um some of you might also might be in a relationship long distance relationship or someone who live far away from you or someone who are very international or someone that come from different culture than you I feel like you 
yeah, for people who pick this pile, I would say that um, this person that you are talking to might possibly be your soulmate as well. If you are talking to a new person that far away or come from international background, or even if they come from the same country as you, but they have a international background, they like they love traveling a lot, or they like study in abroad before, or something like involving internationally, or they they like be able to speak uh, English very well, or something like that, or speak like two three languages or something like that. It's like I feel like these are the personality of your soulmate that they are gonna be like that and i feel like um some of you have to work i mean not some of you <laughs> i think it's all of you have to work on your third chakra which is the um in around your uh, abdominal area because i feel like some of you might have the problem in your abdominal i feel like you might be having a bad stomach or uh, your stomach might acting out and i feel like uh, the only way to help to kill that energy to make it go away is for you to do meditation in your third chakra in your abdominal focusing um a yellow ball light around your stomach and then like uh, feeling the healing okay because um there's some like a past there's some past karma that happened to you in the past when you were young or happened to you in your past life around the stomach area if you if you can you can notice that you might have a mark or like uh maybe you might decided to have a tattoo around your stomach or even at your back but are like the same place as your stomach like above your butt like area like you know like uh you might have like tattoo or like a scar or like a beauty mark or like um freckles or some like you know like um some kind of like a mark around your abdominal sh uh, sh chakra and uh, the your third chakra um, if you have that, it means that it's from your past life. Like you, uh, some culture believe that if you have like a mark or something, it means that you die that way. Or some of you might have this trauma involving your third chakra that need healing. Because I have energy of like deep healing, like a lot of deep healing. I feel like during this time in quarantine, especially for people who are in quarantine, and the world is going on this break i feel like a lot of people are starting to be awakened into their spiritual side and one of the thing that people um be able to awake in their spiritual side is that they have they be able to go through the trauma that they have uh trauma karma that that you have in the past and be able to heal it with your spiritual side okay so this deep healing is like an awakening of your spiritual side like that's why you'll be able to think of new ideas and new spark of your journey your new journey or you start you're starting to start something new because you're starting to heal your past karma okay I don't, i'm not saying that only this month that you are healing i feel like you have been healing for quite a while and this month is going to be the month that you focusing on your abdominal or third chakra yellow chakra so you work a lot with the yellow stone okay if you have yellow crystal work on your yellow crystal and work on the yellow energy okay um that would be the best for you and i feel like at the end of the month you might hear some good news in terms of uh, money and career financial or you might find a path that you really like to pursue in your career or your future in terms of finances okay so that's that's gonna be some windfall of money or if there's not some money coming in there's gonna be a new sparkle of new idea you will be able to start a new journey in terms of career money or if you already started like few months ago because some people have been awakening for quite a while um there was gonna be an indication to tell you that you are on the right path and i feel like some of you might be in the state if your third chakra is not strong i feel like you're gonna be in the state of undecisiveness or you're gonna be in the state of um 
uh, heartbrokenness. Like you will feel this uh, undecisiveness or heartbroken energy, or feel like people misunderstood you before the sparkle. Okay, before the sparkle of a new idea, you feel this sense of disappointment, or you feel this sense of why don't you get what you want? Like why? You always fail to get what you want, or you have been wanting to have soulmate coming into your life, and you asking yourself, why is it not coming? Like, why does it take this long, or why does it take long for me to get into this financial abundance that I want to have in my life? And you know, like this deep disappointment or this this negative energy is coming from your past karma. That needed to be cleansed, okay. And this month is the month for you people who should pick this power. It's the month for you to cleanse your third chakra, your third chakra on around your abdominal area, okay. And I'm promising you that spark will come, that boost of energy, that warrior, that um, chill maiden, that boost of energy will come. Also, I want to tell you that there might be um. You definitely some of you, half of you will meet someone like your soulmate. Like I feel like they are very, very different from your culture. This person also very aggressive as well. They not aggressive in pursuing you, but they they will have the. They will be very. Uh, they will look very healthy. They will look very athletic. They will. They will love to do things that give themselves boost of energy. Watch out for those people as well. Okay, now let's look at your unicorn card. Family culture. Learn more about your family story and history. And then you have happy thoughts. To feel happier right now, think about a memory or something else that make you smile. Third card is relax. Everything okay. Don't worry. It's going to be fine. Yeah, like don't worry. Like I feel like the sparkle of new ideas or something that gonna make you happy and smile again will come at the end of the month for sure. I mean, at the beginning of the month, it's starting to feel like that. But in the, in the middle of the month, you starting in start going a spiral into like a depression energy again. Um. Or like a dark energy again. So I feel like the best thing for you to do to work on your your third chakra for sure. Because even this card is like emphasize the yellow energy, yellow energy of the sun. So I feel like um, with family culture, it's time for you to reconnect with your um, close family relative. I feel like maybe some family uh, person might reach out and might. Causing you to heal yourself in a deep way, okay? There's like there's gonna be some people that are close to you reaching out to you this month too. That's gonna lead to something, even though it might go to dark dark time, but it also might lead to something wonderful that's gonna happen to you in May 2020 as well. So yeah, watch out for um, the energy of. Uh, Third chakra for sure. If you can work on your third chakra, it will be so good for your energy in May 2020 for sure. I love you guys so much. If you want a private reading with me, I also give 50% discount as well for some of the reading um, for this quarantine month to help you to um, de-stress you if you have any question that you want to ask. If you're new to my channel, please please subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to know every time when I post a new video and I love you so so much and I will see you next time. Bye! Okay part number 3, let's see what's your month of May gonna come for you with this stone. Okay let's see. First card you have Saulin Master. Be graceful in movement and action. 
fire guardians ignite your passion then you have seven chakra Archangel Uriel Healer of the Age and then Anxiety Well, a lot of this reading that I have done previous reading as well a lot of people have to do a lot of healing um, there's a lot of healing energy in every reading so I definitely think that you probably should do meditation to heal each of your chakra for sure but for you is focusing on your seven chakra um which is the purple chakra on the crown chakra for sure what card do you have seven of sword queen of wheel four wheel Ten of one and five of cup. Now let's look at your love energy, new love and fate meeting. Heart to heart conversation. Okay, definitely. I feel like um, there's something that was hidden from you in this month. There's gonna be something that was hidden from you. I feel definitely like some of you will meet someone new for sure. There's gonna be a new love situation, some kind of like a fate meeting, or it can be randomly. Um, get initiated okay or for those of you who are already in couple relationship i feel like you're gonna have a heart to heart conversation you're going to like talk marriage i feel like some of you might talk marriage okay for people in couple relationship or even if you are meeting someone new you are dating someone or just like talking in general you might get to have that serious talk together there will be a serious talk that happening to you both um in terms of love relationship um i feel like the things there's going to be anxiety coming out from you from that talk there's going to be some kind of like a situation that happens that you're gonna make you have a lot of anxiety within you um it could possibly be that maybe you are looking for that talk that serious talk but maybe you are not ready or maybe you are the person who are bringing up this serious talk and they are the one who are actually suddenly gone mia or suddenly become shut off i feel like you need to talk about that though because even if because i feel like it's very important if they are not agreeing or if they are don't have the same path as you it's better for you to know it as soon as possible okay normally i would not recommend to talk about marriage or very serious stuff in especially for the people who are just starting talking the thing is that you can talk about it in a subtle way to see like just ask like for fun like for example if you want to have children and you ask about that with them and they don't have they don't want it and or if you're starting to talk about something serious and suddenly they go sing you out so i feel like that person is definitely not the one for you for sure because i feel like right now there's like a, this energy of fire passion that you like someone a lot and they are not res um, reciprocating. I feel like there's a fifty percent of you. Those people are re reciprocating. They like happy to talk about the future with you because I got full up one, which is like see celebration of a couple, um, and also this passionate love that you have in this reading. Okay, that you have in this reading, but I feel like half of you will be ghost by a person that don't have the same future as you and i think that's a good 
luck in the sky and even if you have really strong passion for them I really is I know sometimes it's hard to cut someone off because even though you already make sure that they are not the one for you it's very hard to cut them off or like some kind of like the past person that hiding something from you or sneakily become fuck boy or fuck girl to you and don't have the same path as you sometimes it's very easy to get compromised with that but in this reading they say for you not to compromise at all either love me or not if you are not loving me or you don't have the same path as me you don't want to compromise then it's probably the time for you to let go because when you be able to let go because this month is the month for you especially for people who pick this path you have this strong energy of meeting someone matching for you okay someone new so if you talk to that person that you are dating or talking right now and they are not and they don't have the same path as you or they become ghosting you out or it's like answering you text less then it's probably they are not the one for you and if you don't cut or if you don't cut your passion towards that person the new person cannot come in okay because i can see a new person coming in and they can't come in because you can't get out of that person that not suiting for you okay i also feel like um there's gonna be some um action like some action some kind of like a movement that happened to your inside um, that's why I said for you to work on your um, seventh chakra, okay? Because these are the energy from the angel, from the god, from the um, alien above, from star seed above that want to uh, talk to you, and they want to send you your person. You're meant to be the one you're supposed to be marrying, okay? This month they will send a lot of messages through you with um, repeating number and stuff like that or deja vu moment that telling you that the person that you are meant to be is coming soon so you just need to cut away all the dead energy or the unuseful toxic energy out of yourself because i feel like some of you might dealing with someone who are sneaky and don't tell the truth and the sooner you can even though it's gonna be sad to let that person go but it's necessary to do it because if you don't have that heart to heart conversation and you lying to yourself about this person then it's gonna be very bad for you because it's gonna take you longer time to find your true soulmate or the one that you're supposed to be marrying okay and for those of you who are not interested in love at all i feel like you are in on your way to um become kind of like a boss or a uh, boss girl girl boss or boy boss because i feel like you are focusing on a lot of you focusing on business for sure i feel like yeah there's a drama about love and stuff but some of you who don't think about love at the moment if you are focusing on career and finance you might get to talk serious about finance and career and future or even like um energy about studying or something that will lead to your career okay something involving career and finance and you will get to talk serious with someone about this or you might get a merge or you might get a connection um to your path like probably you you probably want to cross this river to your career goal or to your success in the future but you can't see any bridge yet but i feel like this month you're gonna see that bridge you're gonna see that bridge to cross over or you will be able to cut all the unnecessary broken bridges bridges or broken dreams or some kind of like um unnecessary worry away and then you will find a clear path um Will I say will I say that you will find a clear path this month? I'm not so sure because it's more about if you're gonna find new things, gonna be new love. But for career and business, you're probably gonna be able to cut a lot of unnecessarily weight out of your um 
worry and anxiety okay um there's a healing there's a a lot of healing that coming towards you from the angels okay work with the angels work with your seven chakra work with your crown chakra okay work with your the energy of the purple energy focusing on a really big ball ball of purple energy around your head around your crown chakra and imagine your angel sending your messages okay so now let's look at your um reading for your unicorn is share when you share everyone feel happy happy surprise something very good is about to happen see like something very very good love your parents no matter what your mother and your father love you as much as they can see like like the angel just want to tell you like don't worry about anything that i put this here because so you can see new love um i feel like like this love your parent love from your parents car gonna come back to you because they want to emphasize that if a person a guy or a girl you talk serious with them and they don't want to be serious with you they ghosting you or they become negative or they don't have the same path as you you don't worry that you will not have love at least you have parents your parents love or the person that around you your friends your best friend love you and eventually good news will come see happy surprise will come i feel like new love or a new career path or like a successful in some kind of form that you are expecting will come soon that's gonna be a lot of good surprise and for sharing i feel like the sharing energy is coming from the energy that you need to cultivate that happy energy to share with everyone okay because if you don't share your happy energy the happy energy will not come back to you the more you share the thousand time you will make the energy that coming towards you brighter like the energy will come back to you like 10,000 more time if you share your happiness share your good vibration energy okay and i also feel like the reason that you have this chair and you feel happy energy coming in because i feel like you are be able to cultivate that uh, sending of that happy energy towards everybody and then everybody wants some of your happy energy so that's why it might attract some of like those fuck boy or fuck girls or like those people who want to steal like a vampire um stealer like uh, energy vampire that want to take away your happiness or want to because they're, they're not happy so they want to suck your happiness towards them you know so that's why sometime like in this month you might get to meet those people or you might already met them already and the only way for you to make sure that they have the best intention towards you especially in terms of love is have to heart to heart conversation talk about the serious um question the serious energy that what are we doing something like that like normally i will not never like advise that unless the card is telling me for to tell you that you need to talk about that serious uh, step forward in terms of your future okay i hope that you like this reading i wish you the best may ever and if you're new to my channel please 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 click like and subscribe i love you so much if you do that and uh, i wish you healthy and happy in your family and your love life and hopefully the new love that you are expecting or the good news that um, you are expecting will come to you soon i love you so so much and i will see you um next time i'll let you go bye okay power number four with circular white stone let's see what your ring reading is will be for prediction may 2020 you have peace keeper let go of the need to be right a stag trust and thrive
community the garden and the gate woman holding the coin and for love card you have through love is this romance of a lifetime get to know each other let go of fear the key to change is to let go of fear and then you have travel honeymoon explore and travel together Then you have Four of Sword. The Hangman. Age of Wheel. Two of Cup. Six of Cup. Okay, for this reading, there's something very obvious is that two of cups. I feel like also you have get to know true love, travel, like of fear. I feel like you might have already met someone that you really like, and you probably may be afraid to tell them the truth, or they might be afraid to tell them the to tell you the truth about the situation. I feel like they are definitely head over heels over you, but they don't let you know. Or if they let you know something, excuse the sound of the ice cream if you can hear that on the video. <laughs> okay, so I feel like um, two of cup. This person are already smitten with you, and you already smitten with them. You are, you guys are planning to like travel together and see each other. I feel like some of you might be in long distance, or some of you might be in quarantine right now and cannot see each other. Or if you are in a couple relationship, you definitely planning for a travel in the next um, year for sure. I feel like right now, especially in the beginning of the month, you feel very peaceful. Even though like there's a lot of things that you worry about the world, of course you are worrying, right? This situation is very bad with the economics, with everything. Um, and you not get to like hang out with the people that you love, especially your friends. Or someone that you really really love I feel like you miss them a little bit like I, I feel like you feel like you miss those people around you you miss hanging out with your friend you miss going out party you miss going out seeing all your group of friends or the people who you always like go and see and I feel like you will feel like this May month, you will feel very well rested. I feel like you feel very well rested and you have been planning of how to make your finances very strong, okay? You you can't wait to go outside. I feel like some of you might break some rules. You might um, pretend to go and shop for food, but you might actually stop by at the park or something like that. And I also feel like while you were dreaming, while you were relaxing, while you were chilling at quarantine or even if you're not in quarantine right now, this pausing of the world period is making you feel like you want to have a strong financial background and I feel like this month is gonna be the month that you start planning on your structural financial in terms of like you want to be strong in your financial you want to be able to um, earn good income or you want to like uh, be able to like study um, or do things that moving towards your income as well and I also feel like if some of you are if you just met someone 
or you are dating someone you're talking to someone right now i feel like your future boyfriend or future girlfriend is also planning about financial as well and i feel like you guys gonna be able to talk about this with them and i also feel like um they might be very good with money as well i feel like this person that you are talking to or meeting in this month are very strong financially and and i also feel like they they kind of like uh talking to you or chatting with you because they are serious about marriage and stuff like that or are serious about wanting to have a relationship with you so i feel like maybe at the beginning of the month you might feel relaxed and stuff but i feel like uh, that's gonna be a time that you feel a little bit drowned by all this unhappy news about the world but the thing is that like suddenly you will have this boost of energy that you wanted to have a strong financial structure you want to be able to uh have a safe havens of financial structure and then i feel like you're gonna meet someone that a very uh, well financial as well and it's gonna be coming together of this energy of building future together okay and especially traveling or having like romantic time together when you out of quarantine together and for those of you who are single right now i feel like maybe some of you that's still single might not meet someone but some will because there's a true love energy coming but for those of you who will not meet someone this month because i got the stack which is and the stack like like give me the emotion that you might still be single this month but the thing is that i feel like you're gonna let go a lot of fears that you have about future okay i feel like maybe you might have fears about the virus or you might have fear about why am i not finding the love that i want but this month will you will you'll be able to let go a lot of fears and trust in the your inner self your universe and then you will starting to plan your um happy future with i'll have to worry about if you're gonna find love or not okay i feel like you'll be able, be able to let go a lot of uh um love wanting to be loved i feel like you're able to be like oh it's okay i can be alone and fighting this and be happy and you know like and still leave that heart open still but you feel very um confidence in yourself because this month is gonna be a whole lot of resting relaxing and chilling and maybe finding your true um love if you're not find a real true love in a guy or girl you will find a true love in a passion that you want to pursue in life okay um okay now let's look at your unicorn card is grandparents you have a special bond with your grandparents that will never be broken. Oops. Very soon. What you are asking for will happen soon in a happy way. And then... Practice. The best way to be good at skills is to practice 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 until you get it right yeah like this group of people you might find someone that very good to connect with like even if you don't find like the love the serious love but you will feel someone that you will find someone to banter with like talk with in a fun way you know like grandparents energy i feel like your grandparents are watching out for you right now and you know like um some of you might uh, recently lost your grandparents or some of you might still miss your grandparents that were lost to you deeply and the angels just want to come through the card saying that your grandparents is helping you to um unblock this unnecessary um negative energy around you they are helping you right now and you know the reason um, you feel like someone is watching you all the time or the reason you feel like uh, 
an old like an old person smell around you or or even just some kind of glitch or some kind of like a blast from the past it's because your grandparents want to communicate with you also i feel like the grandparents and energy of the card also can tell that maybe you might meet someone either older than you like in terms of love or you might be talking to someone older than you or younger than you not approximately the same age for sure because you got the stack you got the uh, grandparent card i feel like even if you're talking to someone that similar age to you you might feel like they are super old the way they talk about stuff they seem like an old person or maybe they seem like super young talk about super young stuff like doesn't seem like they acting their age okay that are the per the energy of a person that you might be connecting with this month like they not acting or speaking their age or they might be a lot older than you or a lot younger than you okay that's a that energy because you also have this c six of cup normally six of cup look differently in different um, set of card but i choose i pick this uh this theme card and this card with the six of cup is introducing grandparents and you got grandparents card so i definitely feel like uh if you're in quarantine you might be quarantining with your grandparents or someone older than you that you feel the love from them more than normal like you appreciating your elders even more now and i feel like if you are older and watching this you will appreciate your younger people around the house more okay like i feel a very good community of family knit uh, energy i feel like the energy of uh, taking care of someone energy of wanting to care for someone um you might treat your lover like you are a uh, child as well or someone that you really care for i feel like you you treat your lover or the person you are dating like like someone very caring as well and uh definitely there might be a call from your grandparents or might be an unexpected call from your mom or your dad like this energy of love like or if you are watching this and you are a little bit like older then maybe like there's gonna be an energy of someone younger that you don't expect them to call you will call you okay or someone older that calling you and making you happy actually because i feel the energy of happy happy energy like a happy car and uh yes i feel like that okay i hope you like this reading i hope you um like the may prediction and i wish you the best and healthy with your family and if you are new to my channel please click like and subscribe and ring the bell to know of my new video and also i am doing a 50 percent discount on my private reading during this quarantine time as well to help out for the people who are very stressed okay i love you guys so so much and i will see you next time Bye!